Acting real bad cause I'm a rhyme sale Out the south side down the who ride In the blue car and I never high side Smoke a lot of weed with my boots all day I rolled like a gangster way That's what I have to say When I act bad with a bowl here fade Boy I have such a what just made Me look tight I'm ready for the night What's up y'all? The Slab OG TV back at it again with another interview Today we got an OG up in here, a legend, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Crane Street General, you know. Uh, man, if you come up on his north side, his fifth ward, you know, really in the whole H, you know, you didn't heard his name before. You know, his name ring bells from all sides of town. So without further ado, introduce yourself. Man, T Murder the Slab Hurdle, man. Y'all know what it is, 4100 Crane Street, man. I really, I really. Been doing this shit for a mighty long time now, man. So, yes, sir. Tell us how it was, you know, coming up on Crane. Man, you know, coming up on Crane, you know, I was born in Fifth Ward off of Liberty Road, directly across the street from Tom Malone's, where the, where the house used to be at that's not there no more. You know, I was born right there. And, you know, um, I come up on Crane Street, you know, fucking with Randy, D-Time, Weedy Mo, Hot Dick, you know, Coke Cash, Baby G, Big Tracy, all of us, man. You know, every one of us, you know, right here on this block, man. Name Water World, you know. We yeah. did it all right here, man. Yeah. Pump water, rocks, you name it, we did it, man. Yeah. Guess what? We still doing it, just, you know, a lot better, smarter way now, man. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, really? And, man, like, paint a picture for the people. Cause, you know, Fifth Ward, it's, it's a legendary hood that everybody heard of, you know, out of town, all the way to New York, Canada. Everybody know Fifth Ward in Houston. So what would the day in the life be? You know, coming up, you know, with your with your people, your family, you know what I'm saying? Man. The day-to-day -day thing that y'all did. You know? Man, day-to-day -day thing. I was raised in a tongue house, man. So it was always action around my end, man. You know, mama had traffic in and out the dope, people coming in, gambling, playing cards. And it's called a lifestyle, something that we all fell in love with coming up in life, man. As I hit the black top at an early age, you know, a young puppy, but now I'm a bulldog. I hit the black top at an early age, man. And I start to see what they call threes and fours, man. Boys been riding them for a long time. And I seen old schools coming down with their heads cocked. And um, I fell in love with them, you know, 83s and 84s and them vos, man. And as a young nigga, I took over and did what I had to do and it ended up getting me some, man. I had several decks of them motherfuckers. So, like, I always say, you know, Fifth Ward kind of like its own island, even with the history of it. So, like, can you just... Mention or throw out some names, you know, before you that was riding that you seen coming up and what they had. Yeah, um, and way before me, you know, D Time, Randy, you know, um, OGs like that, Tank, mm -hmm. off Hardest Street, A uh, Chunky, you know, um, Doki from Funtane, you know, but I can't forget, man, one of the originators, man, B Mac himself, man, you know, way back when I was a young nigga. You know, Jam City, Chocolate Town was open. All them boys was riding, man. Wheels, you know, way back then. Fat Pat Bull, AKA Bull, Crane the Main Finest, you know, Weedy Mo. I mean, man, them boys, hey, they was doing their thing way back then. And, you know, it was just motivation. And time came along, and we all started doing it together. Yeah. What was the first set of wheels that you got? Uh, the first set of wheels that I had, I put them on the 79 colors when I was hu hustling over there in Parker Square, man. 10300 Shady Lane. That's where a lot of people really know me from, man. Because uh, when I was over there, I, I ran that block over there, man. You know, from one end to the other. You know, um, and I put them on the a, on a 79 colors. And back then, I paid $99 for a paint job at Facto Bait. It was white with green pearl, white insides with green piping on the seats. That bitch was clean, man. Had me a six-pack Pioneers in there, two-nor radio with an equalizer. You know, that bitch was, you know, it was clean. It yeah. was the shit back then, you know. What year was this? Uh, that was way back in 91, 92, right before I come out of high school, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was, you know, years ago. Yeah. You know, believe it or not, man, I'm 48, man. October 17th, God say the same, man. Mm -hmm. I'll be 48, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, man, can I ask you how you got the wheels? Because, you know, we from from younger perspective, we always here because, you know, we wasn't around during that time that 
to get them wheels, it was kind of like searching for a needle in the haystack. Yeah, for sure, so on this dirty north side, man, you know, you got a hood called Rosewood, man. And uh, them boys, they was Tetris, man. They never fuck with nobody over here on this north side. When they ride out, they hit that south, east, west, and they do their thing. And all you had to do was page one of them, they hit you back. Hey, man, this T Murder, man, I'm trying to look for me a set of wheels, 90 pieces, headlights, you know, radios, whatever I wanted. You put your order in, they going to pull up on you, man. And, you you know, we're going to do a deal. You might get it for a pound of weed, you know, four, five hundred. It just depends on what it was. Back then, a whole set, you know, wasn't 1500 back then. Them whole 15000 nowadays, Why man. people always say that well, back then that was like $10,000 a set? People, I always hear people say that, but then, like, as I'm doing these interviews, I get to hearing that, nah, we was back then, nah, like, in the early, early days, nah, we found some set for, like, $1,500, $500. Man, if somebody told you back then that a set of wheels cost $10,000, they don't know what they talking about. You know, threes and fours, man, you can buy them rusted out of whatever, man, and they had Mr. Davis over there on Cullen, man. You exit the freeway, bend that right, he right there on the left-hand side, man. He used to dip them for you, 300 300 a rim, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, when he got through with them, they was glass, man. You could see yourself like you looking in a mirror, you know. Um, 10,000, man, that's ridiculous. Yeah. But they are 10,000 a set now because they made the world a little better, man. They got everybody riding them. Back when we was riding them, when they were 1,500 a set, you had to really ride with that banger. And you had to show them that you had it, you know, because cars pull up on you. And, man, back then at the red lights, they were jumping out on you, man taking them wheels, man. They had blood on them, man. Yeah. You know, they was hard to get. Everybody ain't have elbows like they do today, bro. Like when you say that, and everybody didn't have elbows, how many sets you think was around during this time? Oh, man, it was it was quite a few, you know what I'm saying? I could say, you know, hundreds. You know, niggas on the South had elbows. That's one thing I say about them boys out there, man. No hating on this end, man. They took pride in their ride, man, they kept they kept some glass on something out there, man. You know, and boys out here had them as well. You know, we had them as well. I can't, I can't even begin to guess how many sets because we talking about ace time. Mm -hmm. The fourth largest in the, in the U.S., man. Yeah. You know, so they everywhere. Some people didn't even ride them. Just like today, you know, we talking this slab talk. You got some clean shit out there, man, that people really not seeing because boys keep their shit put up and just ride them on occasions. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Man, can you speak on this Lincoln that you had back in the day? I heard it had a Sega Genesis in there. Uh, uh, yeah. Was it red? Yeah, for shit show. And for it shit had T-Murder the Slab hurt in the trunk. Right on, right on. Man, I, I paid 7500 cash for that Lincoln. I bought it right there off of Shepard, man. Off of North Shepard Drive, man. I paid 7500 It was white. I already had the elbows. I bought them probably from either Lil Alvin or David Glenn or somebody. I put them on there. I rode them for a month or two, and then I took my car right here off of Fulton to old Henry, man, Mirror Image. Any of you boys from the north side, y'all remember Henry, Mirror Image, he painted it cobalt blue. It was clean, man. And uh, he painted it in 9-7, in 9-8, um, me and the whole Rapper Life family, we went to um, Devon, Bean, and Holyfield fight, Evander Holyfield fight in Atlanta, Georgia, and I drove the stinking Lincoln all the way down there and all the way back on glass, man, with no problems. I'm talking about poking. Yeah. Wasn't doing no joking, man. Clean on five, you know. And then um, I came on back home. I had a spot right around here, 4100 on Falls. Me, Duche, Will, we was pumping it up over there. I came on home. I put my car in the shop, and I sent it to Ike, man. I sent it to the south side. That's when the... Um, Lil Troy and them was out switching world tight, got sprayed by Ike. Mm -hmm. I hit the highway, man. Once I hit that highway to Atlanta and back, man, I said, man, I got to paint this bitch red, man. And can't nobody paint it but Ike. You know what I'm saying? So I sent my car to Ike. He charged me a bankroll, but um, I got it done. Yeah, okay, okay. He charged we, me a little money, not compared to what, what it is. If, I, if I'd have took that same car today and took it to Ike, I'd be out of 30 or 40, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I spent 12 or 5 with Ike back then. And let me tell you what he did that's for That's a lot. For, for in the 90s, that's a lot. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but I built it, though. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? See, that's the difference between a slab and me buying a new car and putting some wheels on it and putting a bumper kit on it. 
and calling him a slab. You know what I'm saying? That's a different. I could do that right now. Out of one, one of these motherfuckers, mm -hmm. out of one pocket, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Go buy a brand new car, put some wheels on it, and call it a slab. That's not a slab, man. Yeah. That's a toy, if anything. When you took it to Atlanta, was there any people from Atlanta just kind of like, damn, what is it? What is that? What is oh, it? yeah, they was amazed, man. It was a different color. It was cobalt blue. You know, and down there, they ride gold on everything. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So they had, you know, big 20s was out back then. Gold they had and 20s, and gold Daytons, and gold big rims, gold discs. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm coming through that bitch. I'm talking about beating hard. Four I mean, yeah, I had four fifteens. Beating hard, you know, clean, looking good on these chrome rims, poking out, you know what I'm saying? And you know, back then, what I was riding was the shit, you know what I'm talking about? And they still the shit to this day because they classics, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you got niggas that's riding super longs, a nigga pull up on them clean. I'm talking about clean, man. But he riding on originals, that nigga laugh at him today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, that's how it is. What made you put T-Murder Slab Herder in your trunk? And you know, they been calling me T-Murder for a while, you know. I come up in the bloody nickel, you know, did some things, you know. As a young nigga, I was told I wasn't gonna live to see 15. Mm -hmm. You know, then it came to be 21. Boom, went to the penitentiary, come out, you know what I'm saying? And you know, here I am, I'm still here, 48, 48 years old today. And so, um, I put T-Murder the Slab hurt in the trunk, because when I built the Lincoln, and that song was I got sprayed by Ike, all that old kind of good shit. You know, and I got, I originally got sprayed by Ike, man. I wasn't bullshitting, man. I spun a bankroll with him and uh, got what I had to get done. And uh, I was one of the cleaners in Ace Time, man. I ain't just gonna say on the north side in Ace Time, man. You know, I was clean. You know, T murdered the slab hurdle. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was hurting the slab back then. I was wrecking their ass. Every time I pulled out, they knew what time it was. Man, did you have any run ins with, you know, any carjackings or new people who got carjacked? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, right off of Benetton, man, I got shot at. You know, I had to run and leave my car. I was at the store right there across the street from Auto Villa. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Behind them elbows, man, behind them rims, you know. And uh, my mama lived all over Ace Time, you know. And uh, my mama lived right there in Trinity Garden off of Billington and Ralston. And I had my car parked off on the side of the highs, man. And uh, they pulled up and broke me for three of them. You know what I mean? They broke me for three of them. And at that time, my sister, she was driving school buses. I had a highs. Out there in Acres home, I was sleep full of that oil. My little brother and them came beating on the door, got me up and told me somebody stole three of my rims. My brother lost shot out the um, window of my mama highs. He hit one of them because blood was on her garage and shit. But um, they got away with the little old three. But I had another set right there in the highs. I bolted up, got wind of who did it. You know what I'm saying? Rode through there, was fit to take action. But you know, other shit came into play. It didn't happen. Thank God it didn't happen because, you know, man, it's easy to, you know, take care of your business out here, man, if you just really had to behind them things back then, man, because um, when you when you rode on elbows back then on um, Lil' Warren, you had to, you, you had to um, protect yourself for real, man. You know, it had to be somebody behind you in a car. Ain't nobody know with them tools or you're going to take that chance and ride with that bitch yourself because you had to have it back then. What made y'all kind of just be like, I'm going to take all them chances, all the risks, you know, of getting shot at, you know, the police messing with me, to be like, I'm going to still be out here riding with you? Man, I was built for the streets, man, yeah. you know? I was born in Fifth Ward, raised in Fifth Ward, you know, I'm hard, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't about just being hard, it was just about taking that chance. I'm already doing what I'm doing, so I, I just stayed down and I rolled with mine, you know? Had to shoot at niggas, popped a couple of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All that took place because that's what had to be done back then. You know what I'm saying? You you couldn't be doing no pump faking, man. If you had a set of glass threes and fours, back in the day, you was the shit, man. You know, and other shit came with it back then. You know, you had the wood grain, um, Grant sterning wheel kit. You had pull-out radios. Man, you had all that shit in your car. You was the man, man. I had Sega Dreamcast. I had the wood grain kit. I had I had a badass um, Kentwood radio. I paid twelve hundred for it. it. Wasn't no pull out the screen. Came up. It had all the names of whoever, whatever CDs you had in there. Yeah. You know, bad motherfucker. Um, 
I had four fifteens, uh, Sega Dreamcast, T Murder Slab heard in the trunk. I had that bitch right, man. Five screens, sound quiz, right there off of Homestead, Condre. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Con, man. They say he was putting some of the most hardest knock in your trunk back in man, the day. Man, Condre was the man back then. I spun on, um, I bought everything, brand new, everything. Yeah. Brand new from Condre. I spun 8,500, 8,500 and some change with Condre, man. You know, complete. T murdered the slab, hurt him, man. Con the one that put that beat in that Lincoln, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Man, you saying 8,500, uh, paint 12,000. That's, if you think about inflation nowadays, that's like double nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's crazy. And you gotta come hard nowadays, man, because you know, Boys getting a bag and they really spending it and putting it into their rides, man. You know, back then, um, pop trunk and all that shit was the shit. Nah, niggas putting bags on shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Making that bitch dance. That's, that's look a good, question man. I'm gonna ask. It's a good question I'm gonna ask, man. Do you feel like if it was like a versus from back cars back then to the cars now, like do you feel like those cars from back then could compete with right now? Cause just because we got just so much different technology and um, all um, that. Most definitely, I would say they can compete because the cars back then is what paved the way for the cars to be able to look like they look in the day, man. You dig what I'm saying? If the cars back then weren't around, then, you know, we could say something different. But, man, the cars back then, some niggas still got cars from back then with the same wheels on them from back then. And that bitch immaculate. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about couple of people, quite a few of them, they just garage kept, man, and keep them in good shape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Squirrel, one of them. You know, world. Yeah. Squirrel got one of the Cut. hardest running, cleanest, cutless in ace time, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I remember when his mama bought that car brand new, when it was white with burgundy insides, plush. But look at it now, man. It's clean. He could stick his arm in there and find him right up, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah. Back then, like if you when you had your Lincoln, I like you look to your left, look to your right at a block party, you know, on the slab on the boulevard somewhere. Like, who would you see, and what cars would they be in? Oh shoot? man, I rode with everybody, man, from north, south, east, and west. You know what I'm saying? Hardest Street, I rode with Cyrus Tank. You know what I'm saying? Um, Look Quick, Daddy Rich. You know what I'm saying? Um, on the south shit, I rode with Mad Pooh. I rode with Pee Wee. I rode with D Black. I roll with a lot of them boys, you know. Um, I hear on this north, me, Tucker, Weedy Mo, D Time, Bull, all us, we all had slabs, man. You know, right here on Crane the Main, everybody, we all had slabs. Randy, we had some type of slab, some type of fancy car, one way or the other, man. You know, and just cause you had elbows don't mean that you was the cleanest, cause boys had this, honeycomb, this, Gatorback Vols. They was clean too, man. You know, I can name Quite a few of them. I'm talking about right here, just in Fifth Ward. I mean, they had clean, clean slabs, man. Gus, Boss Man, you know. I can go back down at Homestead. Old school Bo, you know. Bo had one of the cleanest green machines there was back then. Green. Yeah. It wasn't the green that they ride now, yeah. but Bo from Fontaine, Scenic Wood. You know, he had a green machine a long time ago, man. You know, on Honeycomb, this and Vos. Clean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, who on Crane Street probably had the cleanest car? Cause I always hear about Weedy Mo or Granville on switches. Man, who on Crane Street had the cleanest car? Man, here I go, man. <laughs> T murder the slab hurt him, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna say nothing different. Yeah. And don't give a damn if any of my partner from Crane Street mad. Cause I ain't said nothing different, man. Here I go. But if you wanna ask who had the clean who got the cleanest motherfucker on Crane right now. Do I have to say any more? Huh? Yeah. Man, trap, man. Yeah, trap boy. Hey, trap, man. Boy came hard, man. That young nigga came down hard, man. Green Bay pack of their ass, man. Yeah. Okay. Man, what's your thoughts on the slab today? Man, when you say thoughts on the slab today, what you mean as far as building them, putting them together, or, or you let's know, buying first, a nigga out their car? Let's first say I mean, building. Building? My, my thing on Slab today is exactly what, you know, what Trap did, you know, what Jay Money did, you know what I'm saying? They built them motherfuckers, man, from ground up, man. You know what I'm saying? They took their time, did what they had to do. They got them complete, man. They spun money on them boys, man. 
and I applaud them for that. You know what I'm saying? Especially to be as young as they are. You know, they, they went to somebody and got an idea, man, what do I do, you know? And that's somebody, I'm pretty sure I know who that is, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You know, but um, they man, got it together, man. It kind of trip you out, you know what I'm saying, to see how far the game then came from what y'all was doing back then? Oh, most definitely. The, just the definition of the eye has changed itself, Juan, um, because when we was riding, you know, when we was riding originals, you know, they was the shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, you can't pay some of these niggas they even fuck with some original rims, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they done got longer and longer and longer, you know, and it is what it is. The definition of the eye has changed. When we was coming up in the game, you know, in the 80s and the 90s, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the 80s and the 90s, because at, at 88, I was already 14, 13, 14, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? Nine, two, nine, three, I'm coming out of high school, you know? But um, the definition of the eye has changed tremendously, man, because the rims that they have out today, at first I was like, man, that's ugly. But then as I see the cars being put together, because they got them on everything. They not meant for everything, but they riding on everything. You feel me? Yeah. But, um, man, when they put them on the right shit, man, they holding, man. I'm talking about they holding. Because it seems like originals don't even look right on, on cars no more. Right. Unless because, it's just like a... Yeah. Classic, you know, just a classic look, yeah. you know. And I don't know if technology has something to, to do with the definition of the eye again. It just has changed, man. I mean, because I thought that was the shit. They was poking, you know, the original. Man, I come home from the penitentiary. Everybody riding elbows, man. And I like, man, that's beautiful to me. Because ain't nobody just taking a chance of getting hurt and killed behind a car no more, man. You know how I many of my partners ain't here no more behind carjacking and, you know, they was carjacking, they ain't getting carjacked, you know, shit like that. Yeah. You feel me? From back in the day, that shit was really going down. But now you could park them anywhere, Juan, anywhere, and ain't nobody going to mess with them. They going to go out to a Hellcat before they go for them 24s, man. Yeah. Okay, okay. Man, what's your advice to the youth, you know what I'm saying, in building these cars? Man, my advice to the youth, man, keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep looking good. Build your car, man. I mean, build your car. Take your time. Know your vehicle. Know your ride, man. Put your work into it. Like that boy saying in the song, boys, take pride in their ride, man. Take pride in your ride. Don't tell your car, man, with all that old wild, crazy shit. You know, tip, ride, do your thing. You know, y'all come down, man. You know, keep getting that money. Keep doing what you're doing. And have fun with this shit out here, man. Because it only lasts a, a little while, man. You'll get tired of it. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm in the rebuilding stage just for my son, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got something coming out hard, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, could you say what it's gonna be? <laughs> yeah, man. Um, you know, right up at Dante's shop right now, I got a 75 boss hog, man. You know, he not already played with it a little bit, but um, he coming and he can't come no other way but long, man. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm building him, you know what I'm saying? I'm building him, you know. He got to start with the heart first, kind of like mine, man. You got to have a good heart in you, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I definitely got one inside of me, one. Yeah. Yeah. I read it, I read it, man. Man, what's your, what's your thoughts on... Hey, Book, on... I'll call you right back in a minute, man. What's your thoughts on, you know, uh, you know, nowadays, it's like a thing that everybody doing is like, damn, they're racing their cars, you know what I'm saying? What's your thoughts on that? You know, seeing the videos, people wrecking their cars. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's, it's foolish, man because they're so long and you already got the po the popos, you know, really want to chalk you up, tow your car, you know what I'm saying, make you spend some more money. You know, they already long, man. They ain't built for all of that, man. They built for you to come down and look good, man, where people can see you from a mile away coming and you pulling up, crawl down, man. But didn't y'all you know? kind of start that back in the day too? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the younger generation back in the day, you know, started all the beating on the roof and the, the, the elbow turning, what they call it, or whatnot. Man, we used to just come down, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I chased a couple of niggas down because I had to, because, you know, they pull up on the side of the wrong one, man. They pull up on the side of the slab hurting himself, man. So yeah. I had to let it be known and wave my trunk and show you who I am. Yeah. yeah. What's your most memorable moment, you know, whether it be at a block party, a club scene, you know what I'm saying? That you have on the boulevard? Oh man, we was coming down, um, me, Tucker, um, Weedy Moe, 
we was going, we was on the freeway headed to the Kappa. Headed to the Kappa. And uh, I had that boy, I'm talking about, about on 80, rolling. Yeah. And I was waving and flagging that boy at the same time. And Tucker was in his green 75 boss hog with Crane Street hogging in the trunk. Green. Mm. You hear what I say, Warren? Candy green, nah. You know, way back then. You feel me? You know, I just said that, you know, for a reason. You mentioned but, um, the name of uh, D-Time and uh, Randy. I, I heard that they had like, not like a few, but like when it came to them cars, yes, sir. it was like back and forth, back and forth. Can you mention that? Yeah, um, when them 9-6 and Pilots came out, I think Randy went and got his on a Tuesday. D-Time went and got his on a Wednesday. <laughs> you know, Randy painted his, you know, he bought it a certain color. Randy painted his on... Um, Root Bill Brian, D Time painted his candy red, you know, must go down. Randy painted his um blue. D Time paint his burn orange. But man, we stay active, you know what I'm saying? We stay riding in, in them cars, man, and uh they wasn't feuding, they were just having money and having fun and doing the same thing that boys doing today, man. Having money, having fun. But man, sometimes all the crazy stuff you saying. It got to play out because a lot of people getting hurt. A lot of people going to jail behind riding foolish and on them rims, man. You, you'll see and you'll say something good about it once you see that somebody else get hurt or somebody else, you know, behind what you're doing, man. Then you'll take action and be like, yeah, man, you're right, man. Yeah. We need to kind of chill out on that there, man. Yeah. I mean, you already clean. I'm talking about clean them up, man. Whoever came up with the idea, man. Of Texas Wild Wheels, man. Pee Wee, um, Trade the Truth, them, and whoever, oh, Vaughn. Yeah. Hey, man, y'all did a power, a power move, man. A power move. Y'all made the world great again, man, with that move, man. Real talk, I applaud you boys, man. That's would some say, real shit. Would you say that it's like competition in the slab game? Say, like, you pull a card and you see somebody from the other side of town pulling the card, and you like, oh, no, I gotta, I gotta. Not like take notes, but you know what I'm saying? Be like, okay, that's my competition. I'm finna come harder. Man, the only, right now, from what I see, you know, I've been out the way just chilling, you know what I'm saying? But don't get it twisted. Yeah, don't get it twisted at all, man. Here I come. But um, as far as competition-wise, man, if you ain't building them motherfuckers, man, you ain't competing with nobody, man. Yeah. You ain't competing with nobody, man, because you, you ain't did nothing but jump behind the wheel or something that somebody else ain't and put together, man. You ain't did nothing, man. And then guess what? You gotta go behind them and work on that motherfucker again. Work on it some more, man. And work on it some more. Fuck all that, man. So if, you ain't into buying somebody else's work already? Nah. Mm -hmm. Nah, not at all. Yeah. I'ma buy I'ma buy it butt naked. Yeah. I'ma buy it butt naked. You know what I'm saying? Just like that 75 sitting up there in Dante's shop right now. It was bought butt naked, raw. You know what I'm saying? Look like uh, what, 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 what that white woman was on the Dukes of Hazzard. That's what it looked like, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Man, can I get your top five greatest slabs of all time from back in the day and now? <laughs> back man. in the day first. Back in the day, man, I got to say Khan had that drop lag. Khan had that drop lag, man. That, um, uh, then you... For shit show, B Mac, man. He had so many. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I can't just name one, but I'm going to name him. You feel me? I hear, I hear about that, that, that uh, Tiger Strike boss hog, I think. Man, was. man, the man had so many, man. You know, I mean, when Jam City and Chocolate Town was open just on a regular, you know, he'll be in the front in one, and it'd be four, five more behind him, and they were all on wheels, and they was all heels, man. Young nigga, man. Yeah. B Mac, man. What's up, baby? Yeah. Yeah. That's two. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, let me let me think, let me think, man, cause you know it's some clean shit that's gonna come through this lineup, man. <laughs> that's two. Oh man, I hey man, T Murder the Slab heard him, man. I gotta name myself. You can say what you wanna say, man, about me being cocky or whatever, man. But I'm gonna keep me in the lineup, yeah. cause I've been a little nigga stayed in front. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta name me, um. Uh, uh, who else, man? Oh, man, Ernest had a clean motherfucker that he put together that drop, man. I seen it before and after. It was beat up. 
Man, he painted that motherfucker purple. Yeah. That hoe was clean, it man. It was like a 70 DeVille or something. Yeah, huh? something like that. Man, yeah. that hoe was clean, 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 man. You know, um, oh. and then, man, let me see, man. Let me see, man. I don't know, man. It was just a bunch of clean shit out there, man. I'm kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard spot right now, Warren. But um, like right now, I gotta, I gotta say my boy again, man. That nigga got a clean slant. That nigga be Mac holding, man. Yeah. You know he holding. But um, up until now, I mean, you know, J Money, J Money holding. But man, hey, man, that nigga trap, man. Yeah. <laughs> nigga came down, J Money, and they came down, man. Pull right up on the side of you now, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, and give you the business. I mean, y'all both getting each other the business, man, but I had to say that for the record, man. Yeah. Y'all clean than a bitch, man. Y'all clean the bitch. Fuck that plexin, man. Get together, man, and ride, man. Come down on boys, man. Show them what them lacks do, man. Them 90 motherfuckers, man, holding. Yeah. Yeah. Already, uh, man. You got any shout outs we get up out of them? Man, hey, man. I got a shout out to all you slab riders, man. All you boys that's out there, you know, doing something. You know, slab to me, man, means sitting low and about business, man. You got to be sitting low, man. You know, make sure you have the right inches on your car, man. Some of you clean, but, man, some of your inches ain't right, man. So you got to drop that bitch a little bit, man. You know, have that bitch sitting pretty, man. When you see me again, I'm going to be there, man. But um, R.I.P. Doki, man. Hey, man, Doki was one of the hardest slab riders, man, on the whole north side, man. R.I.P. Doki, man. Yeah, I got a shout out to my boy OG Gus, man. Fifth Ward OG Gus. Uh, B Mac, what's up, baby? DD Mac. You know, uh, Chico, the whole Fontaine squad, man. Polo, what's up, baby? Polo the Dunn, Lil Mark, man. Shout out to Lil Mark. Hey, man, them boys coming out hard, man. Y'all just keep watching them, man. They getting their shit together, all the way together. Lil Will. Uh, man, if I forgot you, man, I'm just a little, you know. Cheated right now, but uh, I'm here, man. It's gonna, you know, anything else you got for me, Juan? Nah, that's pretty much it, man. This Slab OG's TV, got legend up in here. We out.